Morning, everyone. It is 7 a.m. and I'm out for a jog in downtown Nashville right off of Broadway with the one and only Jose Soto. What's up, everyone? Man, it's beautiful out here. Look at this. Gorgeous. own the house oh that's what you own oh okay 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 we're um we're driving around seeing if any uh any of your neighbors or you guys possibly if you guys are interested in selling here do you know anybody any of your friends nearby that maybe are interested in the cash deal yeah yeah let me get Oh, it's not there. Yeah. I'm just gonna do the minimum one. I'm sure. Very, very, very long. Hello? It's a pretty house, you're not selling? The, uh, the minute I said you guys own the house, mm -hmm. the one in the back was like, she does. And the, the old lady was like, nope, we don't. <laughs> like, nope, don't come knocking on my door. They don't want to sell it. Do they ever give you the owner's information? Yeah. It's interesting, you say you're shy, but you do this. Oh yeah, no, th I'm in my field, you know? Yeah. This, this is what I like. You know, you go in with the city and meet with them, it's just tell them, hey, I, I got money to invest. You know, where where should I go in the, in the city? Where, where do you want me to start cleaning up? What? Really, you go to the city? Yes. Where do you, what part of the city? Or what, uh, what in the, like, just the county? Just zoning, yeah, I go to city hall. And you just, just who do you talk to? I, I ask to anybody, hey, is there anybody in zoning? Anybody that's, uh, in charge of condemning, condemning uh, properties. Condemned uh, properties. Yeah, are just in bad say? shape. And they're like, yeah, you know, talk to so and so. Now, when I get him in front of me, I tell him, I just want to flip houses. I want to make everything nice. look better. I want, to, I want Springfield to be clean. You know. What does he say? And they're like, well, you know, I uh, can't give you much information, but we are working on this street. There's a couple houses, and then they Boom. just guide me in the right direction. You know? That's where you start. Um, at the end of the day, I save them money. Yeah, of course. Because you, know? um, you don't have, they don't have to go evict or correct. whatever. Sometimes they gotta tear down houses, pay, you know, they pay a good price for all that. Yeah, yeah this is good. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? Um, can I ask you something? Yes, ma'am, hopefully. Maybe. Hey. We're walking around, um, just asking if people are willing to sell homes or if they know anybody in the market to sell a home uh, or cash buyers and I, I know sometimes I run into people that are on the edge of selling or not selling or, or just not happy with where they live or their neighbors um, um so uh, if you know anybody or you yourself want to sell or you just want to oh, keep okay. my car for future reference I just keep it for you. yeah okay. and then uh, mm -hmm. it, it doesn't matter if it's here Springfield okay. Nashville and wherever okay um We'll work with you guys, and okay. if we don't want it, I'm sure we can find somebody else that will buy your house cash. Oh, okay. So it's just all right. Let us know. If you all right, know. thank you. Have, have, have a blessed day. Bye, bye buddy. <laughs> Man, this is awesome. So we are driving for dollars, and we found this house that needs a complete gut. But you know, this isn't scary. This is a great rental property. There's so much value out here. We're uh. We're going to be driving around more out here in Springfield, Tennessee. We're going to be looking at uh, more rental properties. And this usually scares away a lot of investors, but this is perfect for what we want. Basically, you got to have a vision for what you're yeah. doing. 
and this is great. So as real estate investors, this is what really gets our heads going because these properties are just amazing. And, um, you know, this is what we're looking for, value add. You know, there's a bunch of new houses right over there and we can convert this easy and those are being built. So buying this for super cheap and flipping it or renting it, refining our money out, this is perfect. So we are at another one with Jose and this is a Jose special. Huh. It's basically one wall and uh, some support beams. Now, let me give you a secret as to why we're here. Um, so we don't know who the owner of this, I don't know what this is called, it's not a house. But if you're here, someone might come out and complain and tell you to leave and you might be able to find out who the owner of not a house is, but whatever this is. So don't be scared to walk in to different locations and try to figure out what's going on. But this is perfect because it's two lots, as you can see on that side. So if you build one, you sell it, you build the other and you rent it out. Now you got a free and clear rental. So this is a good one. What's the street? Let me see, I can pull it up on here. We're in short Cheatham Street. Thank you for calling the Andy Solder team, Charlie and Charlie. If you'd like to leave a message first. No, bro. Call me again. Mm -hmm. Till you answer the phone. We call till they answer the phone. So when we drive by houses that we like, Jose, how do you how do you pull up the address and how do you how do you get the information? Uh, get the street number. Pull up the uh, address. Yep. The street. And then we're good to go. Call them later. What's up, you guys? It's Felipe and. It looks like we have done some driving for dollars today. It is 12 o'clock. We started at, what time did we start, Jose? Well, we went on a run at seven. We did, so we went on a run at 7 a.m. And we are just now wrapping up the day at 12. We had some lunch. So we looked at potentially 10 to 15 houses where we stopped and knocked. Uh, we talked to a couple people around the area. We know now that realtors own a lot of the real estate in Gallatin where we're looking, or at least in that neighborhood. Um, and we think we found one deal. We think we potentially have found one opportunity and, um, I'll let you and I'll, or I'll let Jose explain what that cost us to have this potential deal. Jose, give us the rundown. Filled out my tank today. So that was $18 in my 06 Honda Civic. <laughs> and we had lunch at Chick-fil-A. That was another $18. And uh, that's about it, man. I think that's all we spent. That's it. And then four hours of our day. That's it, which I had fun doing. And yeah. we went on a run this morning, so yep. that's, you know. Got a jog in, spent uh, about not even 40 bucks for hanging out with, with a good friend, good time, $10 an hour, basically. And we found a potential deal. Do you want to talk about the deal a little bit? Yeah, it's a uh, three bedroom, two bath. Uh, she's asking, what, 131? Mm -hmm. $131,000 and uh, I, I love it when we just let them talk because she said that uh, basically she owes $117,000 to the bank and uh, she filed for bankruptcy so they took her car she kept the house and she recently lost her mother so she's going back to Arizona Arizona, yeah. Arizona. so all she needs is to pay off that mortgage and uh, or, yeah, the, the house, and she wants a car. She wants like a ten thousand dollar car, and that's it. She's happy with that. So, so what that says for us is, what if we buy her a car, six to eight thousand dollar car, and offer to pay off the mortgage of one seventeen? That automatically gets us the deal. So what you do is you're looking for why is the person looking to sell, and it's not always money. After all the conversations, she ended up saying that she was willing to, as long as we could pay off the mortgage, and she said she wants a car to get back to Arizona, that's all she wants. This might be a good one. We'll keep you posted.